call Rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain the dear perfection which he owns. Hi, kids. Hi, Dad. Hi. That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called. I must say, that was a very warm reception I just got. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm going over my lines for the class play. I'm playing Juliet. Oh, good. I got a little time. I'll help you. I'll play Romeo. Daddy, stop clowning. I haven't got time to fool around. That which we call a rose by any other name. <laughs> so Romeo. What do you mean, clowning? Don't you think I make a good Romeo? Daddy, please, I've got to learn this part. Excuse me for butting in. I just wanted to help. Oh, boy, building another battleship, huh? No, please. <laughs> Well, I, I just thought I'd help you. No, thanks. Well, I helped you with the last one. Yeah, and you busted the poop deck. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing I'm going out tonight. This way I'll get out of your hair. Have a good time. Yeah, have a good time. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll have a good time. I mean, I may not be a Romeo to my daughter or, or a good poop deck builder to my son, but there are some folks around who have a high regard for me. As, for instance, the young lady I'm taking out tonight. What? You're going out with a lady? Yeah, I'm going out with a lady. But I thought you meant you were going out with, with Uncle Benny or Jess when you said you were going out. You're going out with a woman? Of course, it's an old ancient custom. <laughs> People have been doing it for years. <laughs> Incidentally, the lady in question will be coming up here pretty soon. Her name is Mary Rogers. Now, let her in and make her comfortable while I'm changing my clothes. You mean she's picking you up? <laughs> no, she's not picking me up. She was uptown, I was downtown. This seemed like the logical place to meet. Now, if the third degree is over, I'll change my clothes. Going out with a lady. That isn't just like a man. <laughs> but he isn't a man. He's a daddy. <laughs> oh, I knew something like this was going to happen sooner or later. After all, he's famous and successful, and that makes him a real catch. Gee, you mean he might get married again? Of course he might. To a woman? <laughs> Why do you want to go and do that? He doesn't know how to protect himself. After all, he doesn't know anything about women. He's been married all his life. I don't want a new mother. Well, we can't expect him to stay single forever. It's just that, well, he's not ready yet. And we love him, and we can't let him throw away his life on the first woman that comes along. It's our duty to protect him. Well, what do we do? Oh, I don't know. We've got to do something. Well, you heard him. She's already got him thinking he's a Romeo. Rusty, you know, Daddy's lonesome, and it's our fault. Why? What do we do? Well, it's not what we do, it's what we don't do. Well, we'll take tonight, for instance. He was just dying to help me with my play and help you with your battleship, but we ignored him. You know, Russ, it's because of us that he's involved with this woman. Oh, we just got to spend more time with him. Gosh, I got my own life to lead, you know. <laughs> well, so do I. But if I can give up my activities for a while, so can you. Or would you rather have a total stranger for your mother? I sure wouldn't. That must be her now. Now, listen, Mister. Remember, she's the enemy. And no matter how sweet she acts, don't be nice to her. If she tries to kiss me, I'll kick her in the shins. <laughs> you don't have to go that far. Well, hello. I'm Mary Rogers. May I come in? Thank you. Is that you, Mary? Yes, Danny. I'll be out in a minute. All right. You must be Rusty and Terry. That's right. What a lovely apartment this is. It's so spacious. It's not too big. There's only room for Daddy and us. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, I'm delighted to meet you, too. Your father's told me a great deal about you. Now, let's see, Rusty. I think you're nine, aren't you? And, and you're 15. That's right. How old are you? <laughs> well, let's just say I'm over 21. Huh? I'll bet. <laughs> Women don't like to reveal their ages, especially when they're trying to hook a man. <laughs> hey, what did I walk into? Well, well. Huh? See, you three are getting acquainted, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think of my brood? Mm, I think they're wonderful. Shall we go? Uh-huh. You kids are gonna be okay, huh? Well, I was hoping you'd help me rehearse my lines. You know I can't learn them without you. <laughs> <laughs> help with my battleship. What are you talking about? Look, Danny, if the children really need you, you know, we didn't have to rush right out. Gee, well, we can change our reservation. I'll sit here and look at television or something. Well, you don't have to change your plans on our account. We'll manage. If we hear any scary noises in the middle of the night, we can always call the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> They're sure to be home. Because they have children. <laughs> I see. You've abandoned Romeo and Juliet, and you're now doing Orphans of the Storm. <laughs> Mary, sit down a minute, will you? There has to be a short family meeting. All right. Come along, Sarah Bernhardt. <laughs> you too, Mr. Barrymore. Upstairs. <laughs> now sit down, both of you. Now, meeting comes to order. What's going on? We don't like her. I beg your pardon? I said we don't like her. They just met her. How do you know you don't like her? We didn't like her before we met her. <laughs> Well, I see. You really gave her a fair shake, didn't you? She had about as much chance with you as a sardine in a barracuda convention. <laughs> so happens Miss Rogers is a very nice person. Naturally, she'll act that way until she gets you to propose to her. Get me to propose to her? Daddy, I'm only 15. And if I can twist you around my little finger, think what a woman her age can do. <laughs> Yeah, you're a pushover. <laughs> Look, I appreciate your concern for my welfare, but I'm quite capable of taking care of myself. In the first place, Miss Rogers and I are just friends. Our relationship is purely platonic. That's what you think. You're forgetting you're a very desirable catch. You're young, you're successful, and you're extremely handsome. <laughs> Look, none of that wrapping around the finger routine now. I'm angry with both of you. You've embarrassed me and you were very, very rude to Miss Rogers. I, I'm really sorry, both of you. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's just that you've never left us alone before to go out with a woman. Yeah, we miss you when you're not home. <laughs> you may not think so, but we're just kids. <laughs> now, who do you think you're kidding? A little while ago when I came home, why you didn't want to have anything to do with me at all. And now I've got a date to go out with a lovely young lady, and all of a sudden I become very, very popular in this family. I'm sorry, Daddy. I guess we are being a little unreasonable. It's just that, well, we're so used to having her around for companionship and help. I guess we'll just have to get adjusted to the idea that now that you're single, you have a perfect right to leave us alone. But, gee, honey, I... I didn't think you cared one well, we way or do. the other. Daddy, don't mind Rusty. He's only nine, and it's harder for him to accept something like this. But we'll be all right. You go ahead and go out with Miss Rogers, and we'll be all right. <laughs> we want you to go out, don't we, Rusty? We do? <laughs> yes, we do. Now, you go ahead and go out and have a good time. Well, that's the way you feel. Yes, Daddy, that's the way we feel. You go ahead and have a good time. <laughs> yeah.
Good night. Good night, Daddy dear. <laughs> Look, I, I don't have to go out, you know. I, I could call this date off. Do you mean it? Well, no, Daddy. No, you go ahead. We wouldn't think of it. <laughs> well, if... okay. I won't be out too late. gonna call it off and you went and spoiled it. <laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna call it off. He is? Of course he is. Well, Russ, we've saved him. One of these days he'll thank us for it. Well, as long as he's saved, do I still have to let him help me with my battleship? <laughs> oh, Rusty, this is only the beginning. From now on, we've got to show him how much we love him and need him. We can't let him down for a second. Shall we go? Mary, I, I was, uh, I was thinking, you know, restaurants are awful crowded at this hour of the night. We have a reservation. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Well... Look, Danny, if you want to cancel our date tonight, it, it's oh, perfectly no. all right. No, I, I no such thought entered my mind. I, I just thinking it'd be a good idea to maybe have dinner here. We've got lots of food and... What do you think? I think you lost the decision upstairs. <laughs> Look, Mary. Uh, oh, Danny, don't worry about it. As a matter of fact, I've got an early appointment in the morning. It's probably just as well if we do call off our date tonight. Oh, well, if you have an early appointment, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to keep you out. I... <laughs> Thank you. Mary, about the kids, don't be offended really has nothing to do with you at all. We're a very close family and still going through a, a tough period and... I understand. Thanks. I I'll call you, huh? Oh, sure, Danny, anytime. Mary, you do understand, don't you? Of course I understand. Night. Night. All right, I'll bring it. <laughs> How'd he know I wasn't going out? <laughs> But couldn't we head that away? No! Oh! Let it hit him up. Get it out! Oh, all right, okay. Once more, and that's all. I'm not gonna go up these steps anymore, Ross. Daddy, Daddy, listen, I think I've got it now. What? Oh, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain the dear perfection which he owes. Daddy, what's the next line? <laughs> Daddy, would you stop being silly? Well, how do you expect a horse to know Shakespeare? <laughs> besides, you're cluttering up the mountainside. And besides, I'm not going to do it anymore. Get off of my back. Ow. You had to wear spurs, eh, Wyatt? <laughs> <laughs> You don't mind, I'm going to the barn to lie down. One more day of this, and this horse is ready for the glue factory. Gosh, Terry, when can I go play with the kids for a change? Look, Rusty, I haven't seen any of my girlfriends for a week. Certainly, you can sacrifice a little to help your father. Well, you saw how tired he was. I don't think he can stand much more help. <laughs> Your father. He's in his stall. <laughs> How's that again? He's in his bedroom. Oh. Is 
this the cave of Danny the Hermit? <laughs> Joe sent me. <laughs> well, good to see you're still alive. What's bothering you? Why don't you kids go on upstairs? I have a little business to discuss with your father. Okay, don't keep him too long. He's got to play casino with us. <laughs> Danny, what's with you and this hermit bit? I'm having fun with my kids. Yeah, so I see. <laughs> I saw Mary Rogers yesterday. She told me what happened to your dinner date. Oh, so that's what's bothering you. Now, just a minute. You asked me to introduce you to her. I did. And what happened? Nothing. What's supposed to happen? You dames kill me. You introduce a guy to a girl, and if he doesn't lead her up the aisle in two weeks, you failed in your mission. <laughs> I'm not worried about Mary Rogers, Danny. I'm worried about you. You want to get out with your friends. Go out with a girl, any girl. I don't care. If you don't want to go out with a girl, go out with some of your men friends, your fellas. Go out with me. I'm a swell fella. <laughs> Liz, don't you suppose if I wanted to go out, I'd go out? No, I don't. I think those kids have got you buffaloed. You're just putty in their hands. Me? Don't be silly. I'm the boss in this house. They do as I say. <laughs> putty in their hands. I spend a lot of time with them because I want it that way. Look, I know you don't mean to butt in. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm somebody did. Liz. Hello? Oh, hi, Jess. What? Oh, why can't I do it in the morning? Well, it's after 8 o'clock. Where's he stopping? Park shirt. 20 minutes, okay. Dave Halper's going back to Chicago tonight, and he wants to take back those signed contracts with him. Kids! Kids! What is it, Daddy? I have to go out for a little while. You promised to play casino with this. Well, this is business, Russ. Oh, well, if it's business, Daddy, sure, you can go. I'll be gone just about an hour. <laughs> Why don't you stick around, Liz? We'll all play some casino together. I feel it's my duty to stick around in case the children need anything. You know, they may get hungry, need to be fed intravenously while they're watching television. Excuse us, Aunt Liz. Whoa, 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 just a minute. <clears throat> Your father's been spending a lot of time with you two lately, hasn't he? Well, naturally, we're his children. He adores us. <laughs> I know. It's too bad it's so one-sided. Well, what do you mean? I suppose it never entered your diabolical little minds that you're being pretty selfish about all this. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you know what I'm talking about. You're taking advantage of this whole situation. Just because your father got mildly interested in a very nice young lady, you play on his love and his sympathy for you so much that he forgets he has a life of his own. He's all wound up in you two. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, we've been doing it just for his sake. We've even given up all our activities for him. Sure, I let him break three poop decks already. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any of my friends, and neither is Rusty. It's been a very tough week. Yeah, all because we love Daddy. To save him. To save him? Yes, to save him. To save him from what? From Mary Rogers? One of the nicest people I know? Don't you think he's t entitled to a little companionship? Companionship? We've been with him every minute. Yeah, I gave him companionship till he caved in. <laughs> I'm talking about companionship a little nearer his own age. Companionship he's been denying himself on account of you two. Look, I talked to Mary Rogers, and she told me how you two behaved the other night, the idea. Two children deciding who's safe for their father to go out with. Well, we're only doing it for his welfare. Oh, come now. You may have sold yourselves that bill of goods, but you can't sell me. You're thinking of yourselves and no one else. You like your lives just the way they are, and you don't want them changed. Well, isn't that natural? Yes, it's natural, but it's also pretty nasty. Now, let's put our cards on the table. You two are afraid your father's going to meet a woman, fall in love, and marry her. You don't want to share him with anybody. Now, suppose he does get married. Isn't he entitled to live his own life, to find his own happiness? You two may have dreamt up a lot of very pretty motives for the way you're behaving, but in my book, they're all selfish. You're just two conniving little monsters, and you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You tell your father I couldn't wait. 
Besides, I hate casino. <laughs> Kids, I'm home. Dusty, Sherry. They're in the kitchen. Hi, what are you doing here? I haven't the faintest idea. Your daughter called me up and asked me to rush right over, so I did. Didn't you know about it? No, I was out. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Champagne and hors d'oeuvres? What is this, a new kind of bedtime snack for you kids? Are you tired of cookies and milk? Well, this isn't for us. It's for you and Miss Rogers. What? Sit down and make yourself comfortable, Daddy. <laughs> thought you might like to have a drink before you went out for the evening. Thank you. Well, who said anything about going out? Oh. Well, Daddy, you shouldn't spend all your time with us. You should be with people your own age, especially the opposite sex. Yeah, like Miss Rogers. She's real opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. You know, that's the nicest compliment I ever received. I don't get this at all. I mean, all week long, you... Wanted me all to yourselves. Now suddenly you're practically throwing me out of the house. Well, Daddy, you've got to go out and have fun. After all, you've got to think of yourself. You're a human being, too. Oh, I've been promoted. I used to be a horse. <laughs> <laughs> when you get your strength back, I'll let you play with me again. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, so you people go on out and have fun. What do you think about it, Mary? Well, I don't know. What, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> well... W would you like to go out? Would you like to? Well, sure, but only if you want to. Do you want to? So go already before everything closes! <laughs> guess we have a date. Yeah, I guess we have. <laughs> time, Daddy. And you, too. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. uh, young man, try to get home at a sensible hour. <laughs> you know something, Pop? Your whiskers are getting mighty long. <laughs> Be good now. Goodbye, kid. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks. That's what I call a dinner. Ah. Golly, if I eat much more, I'm gonna have to have my clothes let out. Oh, for a lovely, comfortable evening at home. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> What's the matter? What are you doing? Daddy, you've got your own life to lead. What? What? what you've got to you have companionship near your own age. What's the matter? What are you doing? You've denied yourself too long. What? You've got to go out. But I was out last night. I'm tired. I want to deny myself. Daddy, you've got to go out and have fun. But I haven't even got a date. So find one. But you wait. can't do everything for but you. Wait, Goodbye, wait. Daddy. Have a good time. Yeah, have a ball. <laughs> Poor Daddy. He's just not used to it yet. Well, it's for his own good. Could I just get my shoes? <laughs> 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 <laughs>